Hi there. Welcome to Anima T1D. Our goal is to break down the different aspects of type 1 diabetes, so it is easier to understand. This video shows what glucose and insulin do in our body and how. That will help us understand why they are important. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes and is not meant to replace your doctor or care team. Hi, my name is Mia. I have type 1 diabetes. This means my body stopped making something called insulin. Because of that, I need to take insulin injections every time I eat carbs. Sometimes, I also need it if my blood sugar is high. But why can't I eat carbs without an injection? Hi Mia. My name is Lisa. I have type 1 diabetes too. When I was diagnosed, this was very confusing for me too. But someone explained to me what insulin and glucose do in our body. Then it started to make more sense. Let me tell you what I learned and maybe that will help you too. First, let's start with why glucose is so important to our bodies. Glucose is also called sugar. It is the energy that our body needs so we can do all the things we like. It is something like the gas that a car needs to keep it running. We use glucose to do fun things like playing in the playground and riding our bike. We also need it to think, like reading a good book or studying. Just like how a car gets gas at a gas station, our body gets glucose from food. Not just any food, but foods with carbohydrates or carbs for short. Some foods that have carbs are bread, tortillas, pizza, beans, french fries, milk, rice, and also fruits like bananas and apples. When we eat any of these carbs, our body breaks it down to glucose. Does this mean that no matter what carbs I eat, the body changes it to glucose? Cake? Bananas? Mia, that is right. All carbs are made up of glucose. Think about Legos. You can use Lego pieces to make a toy ship, a truck, or a house. The same way, glucose pieces can make up bananas, cake, or bread. Isn't that cool? Once we eat carbs, the body breaks it down back to glucose. Let's see what happens when we eat a cookie. When we eat a cookie, it travels from the mouth, down the food pipe, and then goes to the stomach and beyond. Let's take a closer look at what happens next. Our body breaks the cookie down to its building blocks, including glucose. These green battery symbols are the glucose pieces. Glucose then enters the blood. This is why, when we eat carbs, our blood sugar goes up. Now, let's follow them and see what happens next. The glucose that was broken down now enters our bloodstream and travels through it to reach different parts of our body. Is this why my blood sugar starts going up when I eat carbs? That's exactly right. The high blood sugar sends a signal to where insulin is made. That place is called the pancreas. Insulin is then released and brings the blood sugar down. In type 1 diabetes, we cannot make insulin, so we have to give the insulin instead. But why do we need insulin? What does it do? To understand that, let's return to our glucose in the bloodstream. Glucose makes its way through our blood to reach different parts of the body like the liver, kidney, and so on. But it needs a key to get in. That key is insulin. Sensing that the blood glucose is going up, the pancreas starts making insulin. This is done by the beta cells. Now, both the insulin keys and the glucose make their way to the different parts of our body. Let's imagine the different parts of our body are like houses. Insulin opens the door to that house so the glucose can get in. Without the insulin key, the glucose is stuck outside and the cells are not able to get energy. Once all the glucose reaches its destination, the blood sugar level comes back down to normal. But what about me? I don't make insulin. Is that why I need to take insulin shots? So the glucose has the key to get in? Mia, that is right. Both you and I have type 1 diabetes, which means we don't make insulin. 
So we need to make sure that when we eat carbs, we send enough keys with them so they can get in and not stay stuck in the bloodstream. Lisa, thank you for explaining that to me. Now, I understand why I need to take insulin anytime I eat carbs. We hope this helps you understand how insulin and glucose work in our body. Again, please remember that this is for informational purposes only. Thank you for watching and check out more videos on our website through the link below.